Hi, I'm James, and in this video we are taking a look at this, which is the Acer Aspire E5571 laptop. And we're going to be stripping this machine down. So let's start by pushing across here to release the battery. And place that to one side. We now want to go with our screwdriver. We are going to remove all the screws from the base of the machine. These are all exposed, so you don't need to remove any covers to get to them, but there are quite a few, so it will take a minute. I'm probably going to put this just onto a fast forward to save some time. With most removed, we now just want to remove the one from the optical bay. And then slide out the CD drive and we are ready to begin removing this base. To do this, what we're going to do is turn over the laptop, open up the screen and we are then going to fetch our plastic pry tool and we're going to begin pressing in around the edges so you have this line where the palm rest and the base meet so we want to get the pry tool in there and begin working our way around to pop the palm rest off from the base Now with that done, we can pull here. So our, bait, our palm rest is now loose, but what we're going to do is not just pull this straight off because there are some cables attached beneath it. So what we have to do now is carefully lift the base up and we have three ribbon cables which we need to disconnect. The first here at the front, we are going to just pull up this release clip and remove the touchpad connector. We can then lift a little higher and we have the power button connector there and finally just using the end of the pry tool we push up and can disconnect the keyboard. With that done we can then lift off the palm rest and place it to one side. So first things first we want to disconnect this ribbon cable for the USB board and peel this back out of the way. I'm just going to use a roll of tape here to keep it out of the way. And the hard drive caddy is held in place with these two screws. So we are going to pop those out. Now if the drive was in place we would then be slotting this out to disconnect it and then lifting this up. There is no uh, SATA, um, MSATA or M2 slot in this machine. So if you're wanting to go to an SSD, your only option is to go with a 2.5 inch drive. Uh, the screws for retaining the hard drive have been kept here. And what we're going to do is take our SSD and line this up in the bracket. And then there are just two screws to hold it in place so we can fit one here and one here. For now we're going to put the SSD to one side but you would just insert this and slot it back into place to refit that but we're going to concentrate on getting the main board out. So first thing we're going to disconnect 
is up here, pulling on the side of the display connector to disconnect that. And then we also want to pull up on the power connector to unplug that. Next, we have some screws to remove. So we're going to start by removing the Wi-Fi adapter, which I'm going to unscrew and then just clip off the antennas to keep it out of the way. Next, I'm going to unscrew the fan. And unplug it from the main board. Now we can work on removing the main board itself. And so we have this additional board here for the battery connector, and then this screw which holds the main board down itself. Now, with these removed, we should then, assuming we have not missed any, be able to lift up the main board. We're just going to close the chassis a little and remove the board from the machine. Now at this point, if we wanted to clean the heatsink, that's obviously very easy to do, and likewise cleaning the fan. And we have our two dim slots here. As we can see, there is no M SATA or M2 slot on this side of the board. We are now then going to fit the original RAM module and also our second one to upgrade this to eight gigabytes. With that done, we can then take the board and we're going to slot it back into position. We want to make sure we're not trapping any of the important cables underneath it. What we will want to do is connect up the speakers which were unplugged from the last one. Slot that in. We also want to connect our power connector and then refit the screws for the main board and battery board. Next we can reposition and screw in the fan. And make sure we remember to plug that fan in as well. We also then want to Position these aerials clear. Screw down. And then reconnect the antenna just by pressing those down to clip them into place. Now we are ready so to reconnect the display. Just again by pushing in on the little ears of that connector. And then taking our SSD. This is going to get a clean Windows install on it. So just making sure that slots in under there and then sliding it onto the SATA connector and refitting the two screws to hold it in place. The 
USB board connector can then be pulled across and plug it in. And with that, we're ready to return the palm rest to the machine. So to refit our palm rest now, what we want to do is bring the palm rest back into place and make sure our keyboard latch is open. Slot in the connector and then close the latch. Next, we will plug in the power connector and then finally the touchpad. Now we can push this back down. So to finish pushing this back together then, we are going to press down around the edge of the palm rest to snap the plastic back into place. Close the screen over and flip the machine over. And all that's left to do now is fit back in the optical drive and then refit all the screws to the base. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have, do please let us know and hit the like button if it has helped you repair yours and subscribe if you would like to see more videos as we post them in the future. Thanks for watching.